So as I said, there's a bunch of different ways to import files. I want to show you one more, but I want to point something out real quick. Look up here in the upper right corner of the iMovie window. You see this little blue half moon. This is another one of those pies, and this is basically telling me that footage is still importing. If you're not sure, just click on it, and it'll pop open a window telling you what's going on. It could be rendering. It could be exporting. In this case, it's importing. So that's a little indicator that something is going on in the background. Not something you really need to think about. For the most part, you can completely ignore that. But if maybe your computer's acting a little sluggish or iMovie's not responding the way you might expect, uh, you might double check that to see if it's doing something in the background, which might explain that. But we can keep going even with that going on. I guess it just finished. Um, and so what I want to talk about is importing a clip just by dragging and dropping. So I've got a, a clip, a file here from the Finder, a folder called Old Movies. And let's say I want to import one of these into iMovie. I can drag and drop. Let's see, I can just drag that clip in and I can literally just drag it right into an individual project, into a timeline, but we'll come back to that later. Instead, I want to drag it into an event. Now, I can't just drag it over here into the space where the clips are, the, the browser. I have to drag it over here into the libraries to choose which library I want to put it into. And in this case, I'm going to just put it into there. Actually, let's make a new library. Uh, why not? File menu, new event, or press option N, and that's going to create a new event, and I'm just going to call this old movies. And switch back to the finder. And then here's the file I want to import. I'm just going to drag and drop that right there into that. And there it is. Now that file is in my uh, old movies here. We have this little thing here. And now this file is going to be copied uh, from wherever it was in the hard drive into the library, the iMovie library. Um, but again, you don't have to wait for that to happen. You can start working with it or playing with it or watching it or doing whatever you want while that's happening in the background. And now this file is ready. It's, it's in your iMovie library and you can use it in a project if you wanted to edit it or you keep it here to uh, organize it, you know, for, for cataloging.